Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Shelvington. My name is Andy and this is my model railway in a garage. Today's episode is part two of a series that will be coming to you every few weeks or so. In this episode, I will a running session with a few locos trundling around the layout. I'll be talking about any updates with the layout and I'll also be including a few shout outs to some channels and people that I've met along the way. So, updates, what's been happening? Well, I've been off work for a few days and I'm getting really, really bored. Um, the really annoying part is I've, I've done my back um, and I can't stand up, I can't stand up straight. So I'm having to sit down all the time and oh, it's just, I hate it, I'm so bored. Um, I can't even get into the garage to, to play trains, so I'm, yeah, really bored. I did, however, get the kids to set things up for me the other day with some supplies. So at least I could carry on making some more scenic stuff. I've made some hedges and ground cover. I'll pop a link um, up on the screen um, and in the description. So click on the show more tab or there should be a link on the screen for that, that video. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. Subscription costs you absolutely nothing, but it does help the channel grow and helps other like-minded modelers find the videos. If you've already subscribed, thank you. It does mean a lot. Thank you very much. Um, please don't be shy in the comments too. Drop me a line. Anything. Any subject. Um, yeah, any questions you've got, just let me know. Right, shout out time. So the first shout out this week goes to Small Rails. There'll be a link up on the screen um, to his YouTube channel. And uh, Bernie's layout promises, oh sorry, Bernie's layout proves that you don't need a massive room or massive long trains to have fun and enjoy what you do. This double O gauge layout on a shelf looks great and from what I've seen Bernie gets a great deal of enjoyment from it. So head over to Bernie's channel, he's got some great running sessions and some how to videos as well. Bernie, if you're watching this, I promise I will get around to weathering some of my wagons one day, honest. And my second shout out this week goes to Dillington Model Railway. Now, I love the details in this guy's layout. It's not just the scenery details, but it's the extra bits. There's a rock concept in one of his videos. It's in the castle grounds. It's such a great idea. And the subtle use of the video effects on the stage, it's brilliant. There's also some stop motion filming going on in one of his videos too. All of these things really bring the scenery to life on the layout that otherwise would be static. You, you just don't get the, the extra level of, of depth to it all. Great job, James. Head over to James's YouTube channel. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you do want your YouTube channel or website mentioned, get in touch through the comments or you can email me direct at shelvingtonrailway at gmail.com. Anyway, thanks to Bernie from Small Rails and thanks to James from Dillington. Go and check them out, you won't be disappointed, honestly they're brilliant. I'll shut up for today now anyway, as I said at the beginning, if you like what you see, please like the video and consider subscribing. Keep the comments coming, thank you. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for your continued support. I'll leave you now with a few locos running around the layout. Until next time, cheers. See ya.